What's going on, everybody? It's Kyle McGuire from United Soft Wash. Just want to reach out to y'all. A made a video in about a week, so I wanted to touch base, uh, make some content for y'all. It's going to be a quick one, but uh, hopefully the, the information I tell y'all, some of the things that uh, I use on a daily basis, hopefully it benefits you, make your life a little bit easier, or makes you a little bit more comfortable out there on the job. So uh, before we dive into that, just want to say, y'all, your boy's feeling blessed. Um, I've been, I've been just overwhelmed y'all been getting my butt whooped to be honest uh washing every day and and that's a great thing that's what I, that's what i wanted um y'all know i do this part-time but it's still even working a full-time job i've been doing at least one house a day and most days where i'm busy like four days a week i'll do two if not three houses so feeling very fortunate feeling blessed hope everybody's doing good but uh i got a house wash here at uh 10 a.m today and i'm just getting i'm running around i was going crazy looking for a my earpod or airpod pro charging case it's a little apple product earbuds and uh, that's that's part of what i want to talk about i want to talk about a couple things that i feel like i can't go without you know and if i go without it i'm gonna feel uncomfortable or i'll just i'll be in a pissy mood so let's dive right into it i got one two three four five six six or seven items I'll talk about that I use on a daily basis, right? And a lot of these are like clothing related, right? Or uh, or different things that are I'm going to wear or I'm going to utilize when I'm out there washing. Specifically out there, not, not advertising or doing marketing, but whenever I'm out there actually washing the houses or washing the commercial properties. So item number one that I can't go without is a straw hat. Now, a lot of times I'll wear a baseball cap, you know, depending on how cloudy it is or whatnot. But if it's a sunny day and that sun's beating down, I always have a straw hat. This is a new one I just picked up, Quicksilver. Um, and and the benefit to this is it's light. You don't, you don't even feel like you got it on. It's got a wide brim on it. So it's going to keep that sun. Most importantly, it's going to keep that sun off of uh, your ears and your neck. And from a person who's had two melanomas cut out of his back from years ago when I was a teenager, I don't play with sun cancer, right? So I take a lot of precautions to uh, mitigate any potential uh, UV exposure that you don't need. So invest in this. Uh, one hat that I have beat all the hell was just a gas station hat, y'all. I bought it at a little gas station straw hat for five bucks. This Quicksilver one's closer to 30 probably. Paid way too much for it, but I like how it looks. Um, and it's going to keep you safe out there. It's going to keep you comfortable, especially on those days you got two, three houses that sun, not only can it damage your skin and, and you know, long to have long-term effects, but it's going to take the energy out of you. You know, you're going to feel a lot more fatigued uh, later, the farther you go into the day, you know, with the more sun exposure that you get. So limit that sun exposure, get yourself a hat. Item number two is, and this is another item where I've just beat the other one all the hell, but I use these buffs. Um, I've been wearing a gray one. I saw this one. There's the only one left. Picked it up. I actually like the design on it. But this buff right here does all types of stuff. So you can wear it all types of ways. You can wear it around your neck. And whenever you want to pull it up over your face, it's going to give you some protection. You know, on those windy days, I mean, it don't matter if you're X-jetting, downstreaming, uh, 12 volting. On those windy days, if a gust of wind comes, it's so easy to get over spray on your face and uh depending on how hot of a mix you're using you know if you're just doing a house wash at like one one and a half percent or you're on top of a roof slinging some so, something a lot more strong four percent or something like that or even doing stucco that stuff could damage your skin real quick you could it's easy to get burned up so uh that right there is going to keep that overspray off of your face um yeah and it's cheap and it's real breathable it's easy to breathe through you ain't gonna be struggling breathing through that and once again it keeps the sun off of you so item number three i cannot go without my blender sunglasses or any sunglasses in that that instant i have several different pairs uh this is one of my cheaper glasses i wear i don't want to wear some two three hundred dollar parcels out there I want to wear like a cheap sunglass that I could beat up. I have two pairs of these. These are these are by Blenders. Um, these glasses are like 40, 50 bucks. And compared to like some Oakleys, like fuel cells or something I used to wear all the time, I could beat these all to hell. And I don't care if I lose them. At 40, 50 bucks, I'm going to just get another pair. But they look really good. They have a sporty 
uh, stylish look to them and they're polarized, which is key. Get yourself, invest in some uh, polarized sunglasses. It's so, I can't tell you how big of a difference it makes. Whenever you're looking at a house and let's say you're spraying the face on a house and we all know, y'all know what it looks like whenever you hit a spot and you miss a spot, how it stands out. It stands out twice as much when you have some nice polarized glasses, especially on a roof too. Once you got all that 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 uh, soap up there, and uh, and your mix, your SH, that sun it's glaring off that roof. You could hardly see anything. But if you have them polarized glasses, you could see maybe some lines that you missed. So invest in those and protects your eyes, y'all. Protects you from the overspray and uh, sun exposure. So that is the third thing I can't go without. If I went to a house and I forgot my glasses. I'd probably reschedule the house. I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm not gonna be out there washing all day without sunglasses. Um, number four, y'all. This is not clothing related, but it's something that I've 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 grown to love this thing. This is what I was running around looking for like crazy because I don't want to be out there working without it. These things are amazing. I used to wear uh, the Beats earbuds, but these are by Apple. They're the new ones that came out, the uh, AirPod Pros. And these things are awesome because I don't notice they're in my ear. They sound really good. And if you're, if I'm out there washing and I got the machine running and stuff like that, I can't hear if I'm getting calls. And the last thing I want to do is miss some phone calls when I'm out there doing work. So I keep those ear pods in. I'm listening to music. I'm jamming out. It keeps you in a good mood, keeps you upbeat. But then you're not going to miss uh, any phone calls. And you're not going to miss any, let's say you got some phone calls for work or even worse, you got like a family emergency. You don't want to miss that call. So I keep those in and that, that keeps me uh, tuned in with what's going on. And also I, I freaking have all types of playlists, all types of podcasts and all types of other YouTube video, other YouTube channels that I like to follow. So it's nice to throw these in because the sound quality is so good. And I could listen to some of these other YouTubers talk about washing and stuff like that, stuff like that whenever I'm out there doing work. Um, I know I'm harping on the sun, y'all, but you can't, you can't be too careful. Um, sunblock. I always hit the legs, hit, hit the arms and, uh, hit the neck just in case. So can't do without the sunblock. And the last but not least is I always had some sort of hundred percent polyester shirt. So I got a hoodie right here. This is like my company fin print hoodie. Uh, you could just go to Walmart and pick yourself up just a plain old long sleeve or 100% polyester shirt yeah it's a little bit hotter than a t-shirt but if you get long sleeve you're just covering your arm your forearms you're protecting yourself that much more from a uh, uv exposure and sh exposure um got one more thing i'll show y'all before i get up off of here gotta hit the gas station up y'all get some fuel for the machine This is another uh, PPE-related thing. Go on Amazon, all right? Get yourself, I use Gloveworks. I like this this brand right here, this company, Gloveworks. And they are protective black gloves. They're the nitro gloves. These things are huge. I don't like, I'll wash without them. I don't have to have them, but, because I think my hands have grown pretty uh, used to the SH, but, especially if you're using a hotter mix use those gloves because it's going to keep your hands and your skin from drying out um definitely a good practice to get those i think the box i don't even know what the box costs it's cheap you can't put a price on safety so there's some things y'all that's a couple things that i can't do without or that i don't want to do without they make my life easier they make me more comfortable when i'm out there i hope uh if you ain't using some of those things uh hope i learned you something so i'll get with y'all i'm about to go out here Make some money, and uh, as always, God bless you. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.